بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد إن شاء الله تعالى نكتين الأشخاص عقيدة الوافقية إن شاء الله جل وعلا before we take a new lesson tonight we will inshallah make some revision about the last lesson that we took we start last time the word of the sheikh said فهذا اعتقاد فرقة اعتقاد فرقة الناجية المنصورة نعم It does mean i'tiqad first. The word of i'tiqad. Naam? Say that loudly. To tie it up. Yes. Naam. Tied in something in the heart. That's i'tiqad. So the aqeedah means something that you have in your heart. Deep. اعتقاد الفرقة الناجية الشيخ سيد الفرقة الناجية هي أتبع هذا الاعتقاد for the فرقة الناجية where do we take the, the word of فرقة الناجية what is the dream for the فرقة الناجية the emperor has a dream for the فرقة الناجية What would have you? Mm -hmm. That is our own thing. Or if it's a number three. Now, who has the right to do? The Furka and Naji said sight. I have an English. Go ahead. Allah said that the Jews split into 71 sect, mm -hmm. the Christians split into 72, and he said, My Allah split into 73, mm -hmm. and all of them are in the hellfire except one. Barakallahu. That's the hadith. Someone asks you, What's the dream for Fiqh and Naji? Sex, sex. You should say this hadith. Uh, Prophet Muhammad sallam, said, If Tarakat al Yahud, Allah, إحدى وسبعين فرقة يهود سبيرت إنتو وات سبيرت وات ها جروبس سيت إن وافترقت النصارى إن دي كريستيان هاز ديفايد إنتو اثنين وسبعين فرقة سبيرت تو سيت إنتي سيد وستفترق هذه الأمة على ثلاث وسبعين فرقة عن this أمة وفي دفاعها into seventy three sects all of them in hellfire except one إلا واحدة so all seventy two Allah سبحانه وتعالى has has promised them that they're going to hellfire and one of the seventy three will be saved and that is the saved sect الفرقة الناجية as the فرقة الأش ناجية this particular hadith people of Bid'a they hate a lot and they have tried many times to disprove this hadith to make this hadith موضوع or ضعيف because they want to see the ummah is divided in too many groups yet we and we have to say all of us we are upon the haq <coughs> that's what they want okay so they say hey stop saying this group is of, of, you know people of bid'ah or that group people of bid'ah no all ummah is upon the haq we are all the ummah of the prophet muhammad and when when, when you could take or take this hadith as a dalil 
they will rush to say this hadith is a is a weak hadith or mawdu hadith and that's not all the scholars of hadith they authenticate the hadith and was written in, in great books of the mother ulama rahimahumullah ta'ala okay Imam al Tirmidhi, you know, uh, narrated his, his kitab and he said, Hassan al Sahih. Also, Abu Dawood, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he had many, many books. Wallah al Hamd. Tayyib. Fahada i'tiqad al Firqa al Najiyah. So everyone has to be part of the Firqa al Najiyah. And the Shaykh Rahimahullah, he wrote in this kitab about the aqidah of this said sex. So we need to, to study it and believe it and you know, keep it in heart as an aqidah. Tayyib. al firqatul Najiyah. What, what does it mean also? al Mansura. He said, this sect is said sect and was aided by Allah and supported by Allah. What is the belief for that also? What is the belief for this sect? Allah will aid them and support them and make them victorious. We mentioned that hadith also. Is there any brother here? We want to keep the. Uh, uh, you know, a dealer all the time. Everything we, we want to say, we should have dhari for it. Okay. So, all the time, keeping the dhari and writing down is very important. If you memorize it, it will be much better. Brother uh, Bilal? Uh, Prophet said, there will not cease to be a group from my ummah, a lot of people who upon the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, those who uh, abandon them or those who oppose them will not harm them until the uh, until the hour until the hour comes. Until the hour established. That's the hadith. La tazalu ta'ifatu bil ummati al-haq. There's no cease the group of people continuously upon the haq. Begin from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam until the day of judgment, until, until their time arrives. La tazal means continuation. La tazal, one line, no change. From the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to the Qiyam Sa'ah. Those are al taifa Al-Mansura. He said, Alayhi Wasallam, Salaam, Zahirina. Zahirina means they are victorious. They are Mansurun. It's not easy to follow every group you want. Rather, you have to make sure that you are following the, the aqidah and methodology of al-ta'ifa uh, al-mansura, same sect. Okay. You have so many groups today, and uh, so many brothers and sisters that uh, really have confusion about who do we follow, everybody saying, I want to the harams and that. You don't need that. You need to study. When you study the right aqidah, you know who follow this aqidah and correct method and who's not. And then you have ability to distinguish of people of haq and people of tawqib. But the reality is we are divided to 72 sets. We have to accept this reality. Denying is not helping us really. Okay. So every group said if they are away from the Sunnah, from the Quran, from the methodology of said sect, they are people of Ahlul Bidah. We don't say that, we really will allow our deed to be corrupted. Now, Al Firqatul Najiyah Al Mansura. Now, there's some other names. What does it mean, Ila Qiyam al Sa'ah? The hour is going to happen while they are alive. Now, what is the belief? Because Shah said, Ila Qiyam al Sa'ah. Until the hour? Yes. 
So how we can, you said no, by the right? What's the deal? That Allah, uh, Allah the Hadith, Prophet says that the wind mm -hmm. will, will kill the rest of the believers. Mm -hmm. Naam, naam. Brother Bilal? Uh, there's a hadith that says that the hour will not be established until, uh, upon, except upon the most wicked of people. Mm -hmm. So there's to resolve this conflict, to resolve this apparent conflict. Naam. We take the other hadith which says that Allah will send a wind that will take away the souls of the believers. Mm -hmm. as, uh, Brother Bilal said. MashaAllah. And so that is what is intended in the word Hidaqiyah. Barakallah. That's, that's what it is. The hadith came from the Prophet Sallallahu saying, لا تقوم الساعة إلا على أشرار الناس أو على أشرار الخلق. The hour will not establish except upon the the wicked people on the the earth. And the Prophet said, لا تقوم الساعة حتى لا يقارع في الأرض الله الله. The people who remains in this planet when the hour is gonna is gonna take place are people who don't know at all Allah سبحانه وتعالى. And those who denied Allah at all, atheist people. So what the, what Sheikh means in the Quran is another hadith clarified that he said, Alayhi salatu wasalam, when Allah went Subhanahu wa Taala, the hour to happen, He will send a wind, very gentle wind, soft and very good smelling, and goes around all the believers and take their lives, and all of them they pass away peacefully. And no one remains, no one say Allah will not remain in this earth. Who remains there? Atheists. Those who deny Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that they face the, 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 the torture and the, the collapse of the universe with very severe punishment. I don't know. Sheikh said, Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. What does he mean? Self sector. He said, Firqa Nadia. He said, Da'if al Mansura. And now he's saying Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Two words, Ahl Sunnah and Wal Jama'ah. What does mean Ahl Sunnah? People who follow the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What is the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Who said Ahl Sunnah? What is the Sunnah? His, uh, his, his actions and speech and his life. <laughs> sunnah contains and, 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 and is three things. Say it. You know. Sayings, actions, and commands. His sayings and his actions. The third one? The things he approved. The thing was done before him and he approved. These three consider what? The Sunnah. So, whenever we see hadith, our Prophet Sallallahu directly saying something to us, we'll take it. And we see something, hadith saying Prophet Sallallahu has done this, this way or that way, we will imitate and take it the way he had done, his action. And we see someone, he said, I've done this before the Prophet Sallallahu and did not say anything. What hadith? If the Sahaba used to say, Kunna Nakulu, huh? And the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Abdul Hadi Ummah, Bad the Nabiha Abu Bakr, Thumma Omar, Thumma Azman, and Kadah. Falam Yakul Shah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hakada. They used to say some words in the Sahaba, and he used to approve Alayhi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And his approval is just like he said. Because we will never approve except something is haq. Now, he approves some of things. For example, who knows one example that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam approved? Now, when, uh, when he was, they were giving, the companion was giving the adhan, no. and uh, he said it was special, mm -hmm. he said to, that prayer is better than sleep, and the Prophet approved of it, and he added that in the adhan. That's one of them. The adhan itself. Adhan itself. 
was not revealed by Allah to the Prophet or the Prophet himself did not teach the Ummah the Adhan as, as it is. Rather, the Adhan was the companion has seen the, the, the dream. He suggests something when the Muslim became you know, so many in Medina. And at the time of the Salah, they need to know what times the people are busy in the marketplaces and their shops and so on. So they need something to remind them that the time the Salah is, is the time. So he asked Ali Salah Salam, his companion, about to uh, suggest something that we call to each other for the prayer. Some of them they suggest what? Huh? Fire. They said, we will, you know, set fire up. So when the people see the smoke, they come to the prayer. He said, no. That's the for Majus. He said, Majus will be the people who worship the fire. Fire worshipers use that. We're not fire worshipers. We're not going to use that. And they said, okay, let's use a, a bukan. Huh? The, the, the tomb. Like a, a, a Yehud. The Yehud, when they come to the Salah, what they do, they blow the horn. Ooh, like that. Then we're going to do something. La, hadha al Yehud, he said, Aisha Salah. Amman Nasara, the Christian, they have down, down, down. The big build. He said, that Ali Nazara, he said, no. They said, oh, what are we gonna do? <laughs> okay, they said, everybody just go ahead and suggest something good. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has showed that the Adam different companion. Everybody went, went home and sleep in the in a, in a, in a morning, they came to the Prophet and said, Ya Rasulullah, last night I have seen the sleep. If the person came to me and taught me, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, the Adam. Another companion came and said, Ya Rasulullah, last night I had a dream. Someone teaching me, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. He said, Subhanallah, hadhi ru'ya haq. Ara ru'yaakum qad tawata'at. He said, I see your dreams are really confirming each other. So this is a haq. And he confirmed the Adam and he teached how to perform Ali Salam. And that's the Adam how, how he proved so many things. <laughs> Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and came from them, the papers. So the Ahlul Sunnah, Ahlul Sunnah, those who really mutamassikuna biha, they study the Sunnah, they really are, you know, those are, are all the time making studies and understanding how the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Sunnah authenticated and distinguished between Da'if and Sahih. Those people are called Ahl Hadith. Imam Ahmad Rahimahullah Ta'ala was asked Man hum al al and he said if, if they are not people of Hadith La Arifam he said is it Ahl Hadith because they are really those who inherit the Sunnah of Prophet Other people, they don't have nothing about the Sunnah. Either they are mutakallimin philosophers, mutakallimun, or fuqaha, or, or ahlul lugha. They don't have the, the, the legacy of Prophet All the narrations has people of ahl uh, uh, hadith And their aqidah was based upon narration. So their aqidah is correct. People of the Sunnah. What is the Jama'ah? I mean, you see, I'm going to be the Sunnah to the Jama'ah. Jama'ah linguistically is what? The main body. The group of the Jama'ah. The group, those who are above the Ha'ah. Those who call Al Jama'ah. In the Shara, in Istilah, Shara. Jama'a al is group of people. 
But the jama'ah in the, the shar' is uh, people who has the haq and they come together upon the haq. That's the jama'ah, view of the jama'ah. Now, so they have these names. They have al firqat al-Najiyah, al-Ta'if al-Mansura, Ahl al-Sunnah wal-Jama'ah. Also we mentioned a couple other names. Al-Salafiyun or Atba'a al-Salaf al-Salih. By the way, what's the Salaf al-Salih here? Who they are Salaf al-Salih? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, first three generations. The generation of the Sahaba, uh, generation of Tabi'in, and generation of Tabi'in. The companion of Prophet and those who followed him, the student of companion, and the student of student of the companion. These three generations, so called Madam as Salaf as Salih. And is a wajib upon the Ummah and everybody to accept the deen and understand the deen the way they understand. Why is it wajib? What is the What's the hadith? Khairul Nasi Qarni is it? Best of the of the people of this generation is my generation. Is it? When he said best means those who follow the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala correctly. So the best of the Ummah is the generation of the companion. And he said, Tumma Ladina, Yalunahum, those who come right after them and follow them. And those who come after them. Three generations in Islam, they are the people of the Haq. And the ulama of Ummah, they named them as Salaf as Salih. The English word? Past? Processors, right? Now. Practice? Processors. <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> now. Then as Salaf as Salih. Allah praised them also. There is an ayah. Who knows that ayah? Now, when you share the Rasul and the Sahih, you can say, and I know what that way is to the ayah is to be the Muslim, and what he is not going to say, and what that is to the Muslim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said this ayah. And another ayah. There's another ayah more clear. Ayah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded, commanded us to follow the companion of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah said, Was sabiqun al awwaluna min al muhajirin wal ansar. He mentioned what? A sahaba, the generation of sahaba. Sahaba was two parts. It is those who migrated from the Mecca. And those who was living in Medina, both of them are the companion of Prophet But they have the names Muhajirun and Ansar. Muhajirun, they have you know, so much fun because they left their homes and their countries and they, everything they had for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said both of them and he did not stop out there and he said, وَالَّذِينَ إِشْ تَبَعُوهُمْ Those who follow them. بِإِحْسَانِ How do you follow them? بِإِحْسَانِ إِحْسَانِ means that you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala correctly the way they understood it. The way they worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Their understanding of the Quran, their understanding of the Sunnah. If you follow the deen, the way that Muhajirun and Ansar followed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, both of them, وَالَّذِينَ تَبْعَوْمْ بِإِحْسَانَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ خلاص. 
if you want the, 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 the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're not going to get it until you follow the full steps of Al Ansar and Al Muhajirul Ansar and those who follow them, the three generations that the Prophet have mentioned. So that sometimes those, the followers of the Salaf al Salih is called what? As Salafiyun. Let me ask you what, do you, what, what do you follow? And then we said, I'm, I'm Muslim. The whole seven, three sects are Muslim, right? But I'm Muslim, I'm Muslim. Are you Shi'i? Are you Bartizali? Are you Jahmi? Are you Sufi? Are you who you are? What kind of belief you have? No, no, I'm Sunni. So a lot of people are, are saying, a lot of groups, we are Sunnis. Still, the hat's not here. And he said, okay, I follow the, uh, 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 the Sunnah of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Quran, the Sunnah. And you have to bring and say, I follow the Salaf al-Salih. I understood the deen the way the Sahaba understood it. Means I'm the follower of Salaf al-Salih. Means you could say I'm Salafi, or you say I follow the Quran and Sunnah and the understanding of Salaf al-Salih. You could go a long way to explain it, or you short enough word to say I'm Salafi. You put Ya Nisba, is a follower of the Salaf. Tayyip, to be followed of Salaf, that's the right haq. Some people, they don't like it, they don't want to hear the Salaf word. And everybody who claims that they follow the Salaf, they cannot claim they are followed of Salaf unless they have a proof of it. But how do we know the methodology of Salaf Salih? We know by the naql. It has to be narrated from the books and naql. Or one of the Salaf will say this, this and this is that what the Salaf used to believe. One of the great ulama will say the Salaf used to say this or Salaf used to do this then we know that's the methodology of Salaf Salih. Without belief you cannot claim what you're doing is a, is a way of the Salaf. Now, could you please repeat the last point of what ulama? Uh, e either a knuckle or one of the scholars of the Salaf. Ulama al Salaf would say this matter was believed this way by the Salaf. Or Salaf used to say this. Or Salaf used to do this. One scholar that one of the verifiers, those who really know what they say and they have proof and Ummah interests them what they, they are doing. If they attribute something to the Salaf, we accept. Or we get the narration. That's where we can verify the methodology of Salaf Salih. Because so many people today make claim that they are Salaf Yun. But they are, and maybe they are Khawarij, maybe they are Mu'tazila, maybe they are so many, you know, different ideology. And he may attribute that to the Salaf. We will say you're a liar until you bring the proof. Right? So that no one can attribute something to the Salaf Salih, the three generations, unless they have the real, the strong belief. Right? Because it will come later on, some Mu'tazila and Jahmiyyah, they will deny the attributes of Allah and they want to attribute that to the, the Sahaba and companions so on without evidence. So we should not accept anything that people attribute to the Salaf unless we have narration, strong narration. We'll go ahead and we'll start today early. Any question for so far? Is درس إن شاء الله وستان من درس كين الآن تعالى قال الشيخ رحمه الله تعالى وهو الإيمان بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله والبعث بعد الموت وبالقدر خيره وشره ومن الإيمان بالله الإيمان بما وصف به نفسه 
ووصف به رسوله محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم من غير تحريف ولا تعطيل ولا تكييف ولا تمثيل بل يؤمنون بالله ليس كمثله شيء وهو السميع البصير فلا ينفون عنه ما وصف به نفسه ولا يحرفون الكلمة عن مواضعه ولا يلحدون في أسماء الله وآياته ولا يقيفون ولا يمثلون صفاته بصفات خلقه لأنه سبحانه لا سمي له ولا كفء له ولا ند له ولا يقاس بخلقه قال الشيخ رحمه الله الاعتقاد في طائفة المنصورة is الإيمان بالله بليد من الله سبحانه وتعالى بليد من الله سبحانه عز وجل طيب what is the إيمان first the word of إيمان if we understand correctly it will be really very easy for us so much matters coming later on inshallah الإيمان في اللغة يقولون التصديق الإيمان the word of إيمان in, in linguistically, linguistically is a تصديق uh, interesting or trust in someone but the Shaykh Mada Thaymin Rahimahullah Ta'ala said it's not only tasdeeq al-tasdeeq al-mutadhammin bil-iqram tasdeeq that contains al-iqram means belief that's the, the word of iman in linguistically it's not only just uh, uh, the word that said at tasdeeq because we never had someone saying Aman uh, tulahu Aman tu fulana Walakin yaquluna Hada Dabba yithadathuna Mada fulana Saddaqtuhu Wala taqul aman tuhu Saddaqtuhu Ay Whatever he said I accept it as a sifq But you, you don't say aman tuhu you say, Aman to Lahu. There's a difference between the word of Iman and the word of the Sith. They're not going to correspond in in in, in Mada and Lugal Arabiya. Rather, it's more than Sith Tasdeeq in Lugal Arabiya. That's the Lugal Arabiya. But, now. Mm-hmm. So here the word Iman is used. وَمَا أَنْتَ لَنَا وَلَوْ كُنَّا صَادِقِينَ هَذِهِ يَسْتَدِلُونَ دائماً وهو شاك نفسه يستدل هنا يسير وَمَا أَنْتَ بِأَيْ مُصَدِّقَ وَكَذَلِكَ إِذَا أَقْنَى الْعَمَلَ بِمَعْنَاهُ وَالتَّصْدِيقُ بمعنى تصديق متضمن is a تصديق صح لكنه ليس مجرد تصديق it's not mere you know, uh, a tasdeeq. Rather, it contains more than that because the iman here, it, it, it contains iqra. That's why Allah used in the Quran of the shar, yakhtarif hadha. All the time, haqiqa lughawiyya and haqiqa shar'iyya are different. So many times. For example, as salah Linguistically, is what? al dua as salah in the Lugal Arabian, it's a dua. What about the Shara? The Shara يختلف الصلاة هو أقوال وأفعال مخصوصة مفتتحة بالتكبير مفتتحة بالتسليم. It's a Salah that we know. It's different from the, from the linguistic. Likewise, the word of Iman in the Shara هو it contains three things. Huh? Al Iman wa qawl bil lisan. Huh? 
قول باللسان واعتقاد بالجنان او بالقلب ها أه؟ وعمل بالاركان ايمان in the aqidah of Ahl al-Sunnah wal Jama'ah contains these three things when you say I'm mu'min means you have something in your heart and you say in your tongue and you act in your limbs together it's called what? Iman but the people of Bid'ah what they said no it's not like that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying someone is a mu'min or Allah will put the Jannah the mu'minun the believers is those who believe in Allah التسليبس. if someone believes in, in his heart Allah and his messenger he said he's a really believer no matter whether he acts from Islam or not or no matter he prays or not no matter he do the haram or not that's the, the word of Murji'a. There is a firqa and sect. His name what? Al Murji'a. Murji'a means, he said, Al Imam wa qawlu bil lisan. Jahmiya, Jahmiya wa qawlu bil lisan, tasbih faqat. Some of them, they add up with their i'tiqad. Al qawlu bil lisan wa i'tiqad bil qalb. What about the action? No. And they said, the word they said is what? لا يضر الدم مع الإيمان. If you have faith and iman, it will never harm you. You make mistake. So they open the doors for the disobeying of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Like what the Christianity teaches their followers, what they said, you already saved, no matter what you do, right? Jesus Christ already died for your sin. So if you do something. He already said to you, this Murji'a, they want to make Islam like that. And they said, as long as you say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, and you believe that in your heart, no matter what you do, you pray or you don't pray, you commit zina or not, that will never harm you. You're already mu'min and you go to Jannah. That's really the wrong way. And the Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah is that the Iman contains two things. These three pillars of Iman has to be complete. That you believe in your heart, and you say in your tongue, and you act in your limbs. Means of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you to do something, you do it. If you prohibit something, you stay away. That's the Iman. If Allah tells you, tells you something to say, you say it. Whatever Allah tells you to believe, you believe it. That's the Iman. So the definition of the Iman is very important. What are we going to say? Al-Iman, qawlun bil lisan wa atiqadun bil janaan wa al-amal bil akkaan. Remember that all the time. What is the Iman? The definition of the Iman, you will say these three things. Right? Keep that in mind. So Al-Iman bil lah wa hada. Al-Iman bil lah. The aqidah starts up first, Iman Billah. That you believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The, the ulama rahimahullah, they said, believing in Allah is four things. That you believe the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huh? Al-Iman bi wujudi subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Allah exists. When you believe that Allah exists, exists. That's first, because some people they deny the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like atheist people. They don't believe that there is the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? First, you believe that Allah exists subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second is what? You believe his lordship. That is a rock. His rububiyya. Means rububiyya. Rububiyya means. Al Mulk, Wal Khalq, Wal Tadbir. The Rububi contains three things. His Rabb means the one who uh, cares. He created all the creations first, and he's the one of 
sustain them and give them provision. And the one who controls them. At the beat, Al Mudabdur Hu Allah, Al Khalib Hu Allah, the owner, the Malik Hu Allah. That means a Rububiyyah. He owns everything. He's the creator of everything. He's a sustainer of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you don't believe, beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, creator or sustainer or owner with Allah in this, this universe. What is you don't believe that you should go out the Rububiyyah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? Very important. Some people, they attribute to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala another, another uh, Lord, Lord of nature. This day, people are teaching the nature gave us this, the nature sustain us, the nature, the nature all the time. So they attribute to Allah the another Lord who has a uh, 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 the the mulk, the ownership of the world. It's not for Allah only. There's nature, something called nature. Nature creates. If they have the ability to create, to sustain, to give us evolution, to make us evolve, is the one who give us this share. The nature give us this intellect that we have. It's still giving us so much knowledge. How do so much shirk of the ruin? In the early time. No one used to deny that Allah is a Rabb. Even the Mushrikun, they never had problem that Allah is a Khalid, that Allah is a Raza, that Allah is a what? A controller. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam toward the Mushrikeen, Qul, say to them of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, مَنْ يَرْزُقُكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ who sustain you and give you the provision from the heaven and earth? Who controls your hearing and your your your, your sight and everything? Who controls everything? They will say to you, Fasayakulun Allah. They will say Allah. The Muslim could say that. They never said there is another Lord. Who has a power with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala controls part of the world. Never. But this era we live in, there is a huge ideology from the strong people coming from saying what? There is a, the religion of nature. Nature. And as a messenger. You know the messenger of the, the, the religion of nature? Huh? Charles Darwin. <laughs> That's the who start this this, this aqidah. And they call this religion Darwinism. It teaches people, hey, nature created us evolution and so on. And people believe that and they you know propagate it and just teaching the whole the whole universe. That's a shirk of the today. And people accept it easily like that. Those people are really able to call. What is the shirk is just to make sure for we So we have to sing the of loss for his Rububiyya, his Lordship. Who created this world? Allah. Who's the owner of this world? Allah. Who's the controller of this world? Allah. No one else has any role on this world. So that's what the Akhwan Billah, our Rububiyya, Tawheed, Arbuwi, you sing the out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his lordship. The third is what? Al Uluhiya. Tawheed al Uluhiya. You sing the out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with him. Al Ibadah. The divinity. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al Uluhiya. No one has a right to be worshipped except Allah. That is the third. You cannot worship Allah and someone else. You cannot direct any form of ibadah to things Allah created. Rather, you have to worship Allah alone, right? That's the tawheed, 
عرض الألوهية تمام توحيد الربوبية هو أفعال الله سبحانه وتعالى على خلقه and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do everything that exists is a creator, a sustainer, that's Tawheed al-Rumi Tawheed al huwa af'aluna toward Allah our action of worship toward Allah we single out all our ibadah to Allah alone that's the Tawheed al uluhiyya you direct all your ibadah toward Allah alone subhanahu wa ta'ala so you know you see today how many mistakes the Quran has So many Muslims today have directed some type of ibadah toward other than Allah. Anyone who makes ibadah to other than Allah is in shirk of uluhi, and that was the shirk of the of shirkin in Zaman and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The time Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The shirk they had was not shirk of rububi. They used to believe that Allah is over everything and controller and creator, but they used to worship beside him other gods. And they believe these gods are little gods. Did they say? Ma ka'abuduhu illa liyukarribuna ila Allah zulfa. We're not worshiping them, except that they, you know, draw us near to Allah. They take us near to Allah. We go through them to Allah. We worship them and they take us to Allah. The many years. And that's the shirk fil ash, shirk fil uluhiyya. And so many people today are doing, subhanAllah, that kind of shirk. To make a mistake is easy, but to make shirk is really a huge mistake. Khafir did that. Tayyip, we believe in his existence, his lordship, and his uluhiyya. Now, we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His name and His attributes. Tawheed al-asma'i wa sifat. You will name Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all His names and all His attributes. Allah has a beautiful names. Wa lillahi al-asma'u al-husna fadluhu biha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beautiful names and call him while you use it. Your lives in his name when you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Kufar, Quraysh, they deny some of the names of, of the names of Allah. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُ وَسْجُدُوا لِلرَّحْمَانِ قَالُوا وَمَا الرَّحْمَانِ huh? What he said, said to them, all people, prostrate and make sujud for Rahman, which Allah, they used to say, Wamar Rahman. What is the Rahman you're talking about? And as Judah Liban Taburna, Wazadahum Nufura. That name caused them to run away more from the faith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ulit Allah, Awit al Rahman. Whether you call him Allah or you call him Ar Rahman, Falahu al Asma al Hasna. Allah belongs to the good names. Includes the Rahman that you friends are with. So denying the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a really shirk uh, fil al asma wa sifat. You deny the names of Allah. You all trade and you do, you know, you say it's not belongs to Allah any names. You don't have iman. Right? You don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah told us in the Quran, He has beautiful names. You have to recognize that in the Quran and in the Sunnah. And he has also the Sifat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has Sifat, descriptions. These Sifat and descriptions belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one can give Allah a name. No one can Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describe him, describe him any description he wants. No. Where are we going to take the names? And the sifat, asma and sifat from the Quran and from the Sunnah. We don't know what names Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala belongs to unless we know from the Quran and the Sunnah. We don't know what kind of sifat Allah belongs to him unless Allah and his messenger tell us his sifat. That's the way, ya
سؤال ما نقول له هو هذا احوال الاختلاف. The most اختلاف of the ummah taking place were two two places. توحيد الألوهية and توحيد الأسماء والصفات. Even توحيد الأسماء والصفات was more اختلاف. We have so much sects who deviate from the path of Salaf al the way they believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is near to the We'll talk about later that, inshallah ta'ala. So, Imam al-Billah contains how much? How many things, Ya Khwar al-Billah? Four. Believe in his existence, the wujud al-Imam al-Wujud, believe in his al-Rububiyyah, his lordship, and believe in his uluhiyyah, his divinity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his other godhood, if you want, and believe in his names and attributes. Al Imam bi asmanihi wa sifati. Remember that, inshallah ta'ala. And he said, after that, wa malaikatihi, al malaika, the angels, at the sleep, al Imam bi malaika. Malaika is a creation that Allah created them, and they are alam al ghayb. Alamul Ghayb, unseen wall. There's two walls, ya khwana fi You have to make sure that. Alamul Shahada wa Alamul Ghayb. Alamul Shahada is a physical wall that we see and we deal with it. You could touch it, you could hear it, you could see it, you could, you could deal, right? That's Alamul Shahada. We witness it, everything. And there is what? Alam, another wall. It's called what? Alam al-Ghayb. Unseen wall. Alam al-Ghayb, who knows only Allah. This huge alam exists, bigger than the we you see today. And it's huge. We don't have even ability to see that wall. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala claims the knowledge of both Alam al Ghayb wa Shahada. Alam al Ghayb wa Shahada. La ya'zibu anhu mithqal dharra. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Alam al Ghayb, one of the Alam al Ghayb was that the existence of the angels. The angels, al Malaika. They are more than any human being or jinn together. The angels are a creation that like to get them, and there are so many, and they are powerful, and they are not like us. What Allah, how Allah can get them? Allah can get them from what? Light. From the light, right? Allah can get three: al malaika, al jinn, wal ins. Malaika was created from where? The light, right? What about the jinn? From the fire. What about the ends? From the clay, from clay. the tree. Now, we have to remember that. Very important. Okay. The, now. I was going to say, uh, I know other Islam is made from uh, clay, but are we considered made from clay too? Our origin, that's what the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned. Adam was created from the clay. But his offspring, Huh? Created was min ma in maheen, is it? From his burn. <laughs> That's what he said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah? Allah jalla wa ala many, many, many ayats. But today, huh? the modern world, Darwinism, has aqidah saying there's no Adam. <laughs> That's a false stories in the books, like a Quran, like a, 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 a Torah or Injil. They have false stories and saying there is a human being was created from one man and from the clay. No, we know the eggs, we evolved, and DNA is here, and so that, and they manipulated all the system of, of teaching. If you go to university, if you go to schools, they put the curriculum in this way. By force, you have All the human being living in, in, in this planet, they believe that this is of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They believe that Allah created the human being from the clay. But these guys, they have the power 
And they come to the universities and the schools and they put in the curriculum this way. We evolved from the apps. And they teach the, the, our children, subhanAllah. This is the biggest ilhat, biggest become an atheist. When you accept that one, you don't believe in Allah, you don't believe in religion, you do nothing. So the power between the Darwinism and the faith. So, al malaika we believe they are in Alam al they are unseen walls. We cannot see them. The angels, Allah gave them subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, so much power, power. And some of them, they come in the form of the human being. When they want to meet with another human being, you cannot see them as an angel shape. Rather, the Prophet Muhammad you have seen the Jubilee twice, the way Allah could get him. And he could handle it. He fell down in such time. He said, I've seen Jibreel in the horizon. He had 600 wings, he said, Can you imagine this creature, creature that has 600 wings? Have you ever seen it in, in nature, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the, uh, uh, this reality world? No. Angels, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them wings, they fly. Who has a dream for that? Who can tell the dream for that not, not used by God? The hadith? The ayah in the Quran, Allah says they have, they have uh, two and three. Nah. Who can mention the ayah? Now, Alhamdulillahi, Father is Samawati, or Arab, Jail Malaika, Rusulam, Uli, Ajmeha, Madna, Wadurata, Waruba, Yazid, Ufil Khalti, Maya Shah. So the angels, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gave the Prophet Muhammad permission to talk about the, the creation of some angels. Those who carry out the, the throne of Allah. They are so huge. The, his earlobe and the, 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 his neck. The traveler will travel 700,000 huh? years you could travel. Year to year, don't you? SubhanAllah. That's unseen wall. It's a reality. It's a part of your Iman, part of your faith. You have to keep that in your Iman. Now, and they have so many uh, uh, different names. They're not like a man or woman, like a human being or jinn or something. They're not like that. We can describe them that they are men or that they are what? The? Iman or man. Huh? Iman or man. Oh, man, yes. We cannot say that. What is the Dili Akhwantullah? What is the dalil that we cannot describe them that they are female or male? Huh? Now, Allah reject the word of the mushrikeen when they describe the angels that they are the, the daughters of Allah. They said the angels are Banatullah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reviewed them and he said, Ashahidu khalqahum, satuktabu shahadatuhum wa yus'aloon. Have they witnessed when Allah gave them as a, as a, as a banat, Taurus or female? Another ayah said, Afa asfaakum rabbukum bil banina, wa attakhada min al-malaikati inaadam, innakum la taquruna qawran alima. You guys have a... a Boys, and you said, Hey, we have boys, we lack the boys, and you attribute Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the, the female that you because they, they, they used to kill their, their daughters, they were ignorant people, and they attribute Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to what they like. He said, Inna kum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, You said, Really, very, very big mistake, and Allah will ask you that they have done. So when there is no dream to describe that they are male or female, that's it. And there are too many. Prophet mentioned in the hadith 
Baytul Ma'mur, he said, they enter into the, that house of Baytul Ma'mur, mm -hmm. every time 70,000 angels pray in it, and they leave, they will never ever come back to that home. That's it. Because groups, this group go the other one, the other one. And today of judgment, it goes like that. Another hadith of And they have jobs, ya khawana fillah, that some of them was given names, Jibreel, and Israfil, and Mikael, Al Munkar wa Nakir, and Malakul Maut. Yes, those are the names that came through the, uh, the Sunnah and Quran and Sunnah. Jibreel was responsible for what? For the Wahi. Allah gave him his job to take the Wahi from the Allah to the Anbiya. So that's the Malaik, ya Allah. What about? وَكُتُبِهِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has descended more books the books of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we bring all the books of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how? أَتَّسْتِيغُ بِأَنَّهَا كَلَامُ اللَّهِ all the books that Allah has revealed to his messengers we have to believe that they are the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also we believe وَأَنَّهَا حَقٌ وَنُورٌ وَهَدْيٌ we believe every book that Allah has descended upon his messengers contains the guidance and light and is a way upon every nation to believe these books, specifically the nation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed to them. And for us, generally, all the books we believe from the, uh, the revelation that Allah gave Adam to Nabi Muhammad, we cannot deny one revelation. No, all the revelation we believe, included Torah and Injil and Zabur and Quran in the details. We should believe every layer of the Quran. We should act every eye of it things in the Quran. But whatever in Torah and Injil, we believe it generally. And we believe these books was abrogated and the Quran is the book that is effective and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala everyone who's leaving is able to believe it so why is the Quran? right? so هذا يا أخوان في الله الإيمان بكتب الله آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسوله والإيمان بالرسول أوصى التصديق بأنه تبي بليد المسيح رسول الله سبحانه وتعالى معناه إيش؟ What is that mean to believe the messengers of Allah؟ أي التصديق بأنهم صادقون فيما أخبروا به that you will believe that they are truthful everything that they convey from Allah سبحانه وتعالى everything they tell us is the truth. وأنهم بلغوا الرسالة وأدوا الأمانة. Also, we believe every messenger he conveyed the message of Allah to his nation. Okay. ويجب احترامهم وَأَلَّا يُفَرَّقَ بَيْنَهُمْ. And it's worth upon us that we honor them. Okay. And we don't separate and compete one another. We don't say like you see today. Subhanallah. Islamic faith is a great iman. You see other faith, for example, the Judaism, they deny that Nabi Allah Isa, but rather they, they describe in bad scripture. They don't believe Isa. They don't believe Muhammad al -Islam. And in Christianity, they don't believe Muhammad al -Islam. Some other nations, some other prophets of it, they don't believe it. But in Islam, the faith of Islam, subhanAllah, we believe from Adam to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all the messengers. We know 25 of them, their names, and when it was mentioned in the Quran, is a wajib upon you 
to believe them by their names and the nation was sent to them. Those who don't know their names, we should believe generally that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent to every nation that he created this world to the messenger and book. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا رُسُولًا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ فِي الْبَيِّنَاتِ وَأَنزَلْنَا مَعَهُ الْكِتَابُ الْمِزَانِ we have sent to the, every nation to the messenger. Every nation went through them the warner, the messenger. Every nation Allah has sent to them their own messenger. We believe through the history how many thousand, thousand prophets that Allah has sent to the mankind. We believe them that way. Specifically, 25 messengers that Allah has named in their name in the Quran. That's what it is, Islam. We believe every prophet. We claim that they are Muslim. Their followers, right followers, they were Muslim. Islam is not something that we have today. Islam was the religion of Allah on this planet. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ إِلَّا نُوحِي إِلَيْهِ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنَا فَاعْبُدُونَ That's the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Islam. وَالْبَعْثُ بَعْدَ الْمَوْتِ Also الْإِيمَانُ ماذا؟ الْبَعْثُ بَعْدَ الْمَوْتِ الْبَعْثُ بَعْدَ الْمَوْتِ أَخْوَانَ فِي اللَّهِ It was the day of judgment The resurrection of the death is a one of the ilm al-ghayb Islam teaches us and all the religions has taught that there is another world after the death after this war is over and is done, all the humanity will be resurrected to another life. To believe this is very important. It's a part of your faith. If you don't believe here after, then you don't have Iman. Now, Al Iman Al Ba'at Ba'd Al Mawt. Al Ba'd Ba'd Al Mawt is one chapter coming up right after the before the, kitab, the end of the kitab because some of the people of the ummah has denied some of the characteristics and something that happened uh, in, the, in the day of judgment they, they denied adab al-qabr they denied as-sirat they denied so many things some of them they denied uh, uh, hellfire how the, how the adab is going to be jannah how it's going to be we have so many deviant groups so Sheikh will mention the Aqidah of the Sunnah wal Jama'ah to believe everything that will happen after the Allah resurrect us. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam give us details about how things will happen. People will come out from their graveyard. They will be driven by angels and they come to the Ardul Mahshar. The, the sun will be close to the earth, people and so on. Tawzi' al-Kitab Giving the, the what? Everybody's record. Getting from the hand, right hand or left hand. So, so al ba'd ba'd al maut another life is a very important. But today, the new religion that was called nature, religion that was talking about, what they teach the people? They teach there's no another life. You die, that's it. Your body will go to the soil and you turn back to minerals and vitamins and then maybe trees will, will suck that again and turn to the fruit and some people will come and eat, eat you. That's all, nothing is gonna happen. <laughs> they said you have one and one life. <laughs> that's, that's what they say. That's dangerous really. When you believe something like that, a person will commit any crime in this world and he's not afraid that another life is going to come and there will be a record, record, yeah, reckoning. You open his up. It's very dangerous. Also, the, the faith of Iman teaches us al khulud, eternal life. We're not created just to, lock, to live this life and that's it, we finish. No. We created for the al khulud. You just pass in this wall and go into another wall and you are alive. 
just Allah separated uh, the body and soul. When your body reaches a certain level, the soul cannot exist and stay with the body. It has to leave. Once the soul was freed from this, you go to Hayat al Barzakh and you're still alive. It means we are prepared for the Khulud. Okay. But these people, what they teach people, what? There is no Khulud. There is nothing. You have short life. When you die, that's it. Not them. And people ask me, where should that every day? They cannot die, just something like that. No, 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 no. I, I, I can't believe that. What's the purpose? I, I see people dying. What are they going to do after that? This huge question. And they don't have so far any answer for that. The answer they have is just, you die, you die, that's it. You're going to turn, you know, to the soil and that's it. You'll be mineral. <laughs> something cannot accept that. And وَبِلْ قَدَرِ خَيْرِهِ وَشَرِهِ And another matter, Aqeedah is to believe that everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, is called Qadha wal Qadr. Also we'll come later on for details. Al Qadha wal Qadr is a very important, which means Allah created us and already He put in law al mahfud in details, every single minute, and what you do, and how you're gonna do, and when you're gonna meet, and this and that, until you're dead, until they have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already saw everything related to you, and wrote that in the book. Marathu al Qadr also, I think it's a form, the level of Qadr, a woman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Mada Ilmu He already knew Al-ilm Ratu al-Qadr is what? Awala al-ilm He knows Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Everything that will happen Before they happen How they will happen That's first The second Kitabatu Allah has written everything In law al-Mahfum Preserved tablet. Law al Mahfud was written everything. That's the second. The third is what? Huh? Mashi'atu. And the fourth is Khalqu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Qadr contains these four. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ilm, thumma, al kitabah. Huh? Alam ta'alam anna Allah. يعلم ما في السماء والأرض شوف العلم أنا تعلم أن الله يعلم ما في السماء والأرض الله he knows everything and he said إن ذلك في كتاب and all these things all that knowledge is in a book إن ذلك على الله يسير and that's easy for Allah سبحانه وتعالى خلق الله سبحانه وتعالى whatever he put in law المحفوظ he will create when his Mashiach came. The Mashiach of Allah, when the Mashiach of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to create that thing can, he creates. So there is a ilm, there is a kitaba, writing, and there is a Mashiach, and there is a al khalq. These four levels of qadr. We should believe all of them. Some people they deny that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already put in law and put everything. Like a Jabriya, people of Jabra, Al Jahmiya, Al Ayyad, Al Qadariya, they deny the Qadr. Qadariya al Ula, Al Qadariya, Al Ladina Yunkuruna Afal, Mu'tazila. Mu'tazila, they deny the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They said everyone creates his action. Allah did not. Uh, breathe between anything. Nothing Allah al mahfud Everything happens today. When you're done, right after that, Allah will know. He said, SubhanAllah. They attribute to Allah the jahan. Allah does not know what you what you what intention you have to do in a minute. Until you done it, and Allah after that he knows. That's what they believe. 
خلط افعال العباد they say people will create their action so they they uh, 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 affirm the creation can create something beside Allah هذا الشرك هذا الربوبية so that's going to come later on inshallah about the Mu'tazila and their i'tiqad Jahmizim and they are they are Jahmizim they don't believe that it's something or something love and mahfuq one of them he said tabbat yada abi lahab wa tab do you believe that tabbat yada abi lahab was in love and mahfuq before it was created abu lahab and he said yes you said yes Allah was written that he said that's a dhul how abu lahab before before it was created tabbat yada abi lahab was there he was not giving that shubahat and denying for the qadr. So these rules, you don't know. They can teach you anything. So Islam is very important that we know every sect and what they believe. If you don't know it, they can come here and confess you their bid'ah. So that's why the ulama, rahimahullah, our scholars, they used to have books for the fiqh. Al Firaq yani, was written so much books about the, the Firaq of the Muslim. Every Firaq. They don't, they don't lie about them. They write down what they believe and their belief system of how far they are away from the Sunnah, how close they are. They, that's what they write, write down. Why every Muslim should read and know a particular group and what they believe and, and what, what, what type of bid'ah they have in order to protect yourself. From the bid'ah and shirk and so on. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all the time, time is going to be short. I was intended today to, to read so much, but uh, salam wa We go so much details, that's why I think. This is okay, we, we go fast. Barakallah. <laughs> أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ولو كره المشركون